One last feature we can go over is controlling where these our MLL files, our plugin files, are uh, installed to. Currently, those files are stored in a bunch of subdirectories. So we go down here, release, and release. There's our MLL, our debug. There's the debug MLL. It's kind of hard to access all those if we just want to uh, compile our plugin and be able to install it quickly, uh, especially if we have a bunch of other uh, things like scripts or presets that we want to package with our plugin. Uh, so in this video, we'll, we'll go over how to uh, sort of customize where those things are installed. So to do that, we're going to edit our uh, CMake list in the source directory. And in order to get that to work, uh, we can call the install CMake function. We'll say install targets, specify the project name, and then the type of uh, uh, the type of file we're going to install on Windows. That's going to be runtime. However, on uh, Linux and Mac, it's going to be library. So since those are different on each different platform, let's add support for that in the Find My uh, uh, module. So let's browse back up to our modules find Maya. And we'll just add a variable here. Let's call it Maya target type. By default, we'll set it to library. And then on Windows, we'll set it to runtime like that. And now if we go back to our source CMake list, we can use that variable here. We can say Maya target type. And then we can specify where we want those things to be installed. So we'll install it into a directory called plugins. But in order to fully get this to work, let's go back to the uh, root CMake list and add an extra variable here. In order to use the install command, uh, we first have to set a CMake variable called install CMake install prefix. And that basically controls where CMake will install the files. So in this example, I'll just say CMake current binary directory slash install. So remember I said there's the current source directory. Well, now I'm specifying the current uh, binary directory. And the current binary directory is just uh, where I'm building the files. So for example, since we're at the root, this is the root binary directory. So this variable will be this directory and it will make a subdirectory called install. So the CMake install prefix is used, let's say that, is used whenever I say install the destination plugins. This is going to be a subdirectory of the CMake install prefix. So let's test this out. First, I'm just going to delete all the build files. I'm going to go back here, regenerate all those files. So this is one of the nice things about CMake is that it separates all the build files from all your source code. So you can just delete everything and start over. So now that I have all the build files, I'm going to say config release, but now I'm also going to say target install. So I'll do that. And you can see now my build directory, here's the install folder, plugins, and there's my MLL. If I go ahead and open the Visual Studio project, you can see there's now an install project. So if I were to build, let's change this to release, I can build the actual plugin right there. But now if I build the install project, it is actually just installing all the files that I specified in the CMake list, which is pretty useful if you need to reinstall things and you're working in Visual Studio a lot. So that's pretty much it for compiling the Maya plugins. Uh, we can pretty much install our plugins, build our plugins, and install them straight from the command line, uh, all using uh, a common uh, syntax across all the, the three different platforms and versions of Maya.